Here at Elite Training where I work, we have a great team of trainers. One of my trainers showed me some stretches to do to help relieve that pain in my upper back I've been having. Right up in here. Listen, be consistent with your nutrition, your training, your supplements. Cage muscle pre-cage 30 minutes before every workout. Now who's ready for a high quality beat down? Week four, day 23 of basic and big. Today we're hitting chest, shoulders, and traps. I hope you all know I'm not really angry all the time. I just watch too much pro wrestling. Now before I start in on these incline barbell presses, I'm going to do some shoulder warming up, mobility and stretches like I showed you last week, all while staying covered up and warm. Now if your gym doesn't have that good hammer strength, go to a different gym or just do some machine presses or a flat bench press. Now when doing parallel bar dips for chest, I let my elbows flare out to the sides. I keep my chin down and my feet forward. When selecting weight for the flat dumbbell flies, I referred back to week one incline dumbbell flies and went heavier. This is a progressive program. Do more. On those military presses, the final reps of every set were push presses. That last the final and fourth set was all push presses. That means I used my legs to help get it up and I took the negative slow so you can go extra heavy. Today's wireless audio provided by Grip Fitness Audio. Check them out, they make a great Christmas gift. Today I was jamming to 311, getting funky. Today's rider wear gear, the Cali D-Mac lifting shoes, red, white, and blue, with their new white shorts and their new navy tank. Keeping it sharp and clean. Now don't you dare forget your post-workout recage after every damn workout. I hope you all enjoyed today's beat down. Tomorrow we got back, biceps, abs, maybe a little rear delts, and we're starting with deadlifts, hard and heavy. We've had a day off and rest from legs. No reason not to deadlift.